You usually think of libraries as a quiet place to read and research, but the Salt Lake City Main Library is shouting from the rooftops about its rooftop. I put on a hard hat to go check out why this pricey project is worth getting excited about. The old adage is true, it's got to get worse before it gets better. The roof on top of the main library is going to be magnificent. It's a significant project. Scott Davis is the superintendent of the project. 50 workers up here are demolishing everything down past the waterproofing, turning what was once a space for anything from quiet reading to weddings to yoga into a pile of dirt and scrap metal. And even for a seasoned superintendent, it's a major undertaking. And a lot of it is just because we're on the roof and limited by weight and so on, what we can have up here as far as equipment. So it's a little more time consuming, a little bit more laborious as far as doing things by hand and, and removing material. This is anything but routine for everyone up here. It actually is a, a fun challenge for me come up here. Um, it's it's a different environment, and like I say, as far as landscaping on the roof and that, this will be a first for me. While the goal is to turn this scrap into a sanctuary, it's about more than aesthetics. The work on the 20-year-old building has to be done anyway due to damage from the March 2020 earthquake. We're centered out in Magna um, in relation to the structure and that. I think it's, it's caused some some weaknesses in some of the sprinkler systems also, and we're seeing some leaks there. The project costs $7.9 million, for which the library system has been setting aside for several years. Half of that budget is for waterproofing alone. We realized that we needed to take it all back down to the basics, and with that we decided to um, do some community engagement, find out what the community wanted, and really build a long-lasting roof that was going to serve us for decades to come. And they're taking experience from the previous iteration into consideration to make it a four-season destination. We're adding shade structures and trees, um, just trying to cool down. It's tough, we're on a roof, we know that, but, but we're trying to make it um, a pleasant place for people to come and spend time and have a celebration of a lifetime up here. It's definitely one of those things that um, tourists, both local and from afar, this is like one of the top places that people come to. Aside from shade, shrubs, and trees, there are also bees. Which are kind of like our unofficial mascot. So we have hives that, and we have a, a beekeeper on staff who's been taking care of them during the construction. Those bees are going to have to be busy somewhere else for an entire year. The project isn't expected to be finished until fall 2024. So during the construction, project managers don't expect much disruption to the rest of the library. Only the fifth floor, which is mainly reserved for staff, is closed to the public for the duration of the work. How so, cool. Yeah, it was, it's such a beautiful view up there. Yeah, so amazing. Yeah. And did you have hard hat hair after? <laughs> Amazingly. All the tough questions for you, Dan, this, this morning. Is, this is my hard hat, basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. It looks good. So, it is pretty no, sturdy. It, it's fixed by now. But yeah, I was like one of the village people up there. I became one of the village. <laughs> so who's the guy in the hard hat in a business suit? It's you have not a new, uh, yeah, you're, you're reforming that look of the, right. the village people. I like it.